I was over here near the water towers, the water containers that are right there, and I came across this these trees that were by the road and encircled by an old-fashioned kind of a wire fence before my time in fact so since I'm always contacting the ghosts of the early pioneers out here and the settlers I asked um, what why was why were these trees why was this space enclosed and a man's voice said that his wife was buried there and uh, I asked him if there if he's passed on too and he said he was also passed on. They're both passed on now. He put that wire there to protect his wife's grave. And I asked him why there was no tombstone there. He said the neighbor boys carried it off. Then up this way, but you can't see it, but behind this fence over here, there's a reservoir. And while I was standing just on the other side of that reservoir, between the um, new water tanks. There's some old water tanks behind them that aren't hooked up. And then there was um, a fireplace. And next to that was this, this water reservoir. And while I was standing between the fireplace and the water reservoir, that same man's voice came. He said, technically, you're on private property now. So when I came down this way, and I was just talking, chatting with him about his wife's grave, he says when he was 49 years of age, his wife passed away. I'm very sorry to hear that. His wife was 45. Anyway, um, I asked him about the, the private land, why it was technically private land. And he said that's because he, he rented the land from somebody else. And just because he didn't do that revenue or thing didn't mean that it was not his land for as long as he used it. Now you know. I was speaking with the gentleman in question and asking him why it was those neighbor boys would steal that tombstone and he mentioned something about a range war going on but for the life of me he couldn't figure why they had stolen that um, that tombstone and I said well what did they do with it he said they knocked it on a rock and broke it up but he somehow or other got even with them uh, he said he never got over the death of his wife He's not too sure when it was that he passed on. Then I said, how did your wife die? What did she die of? Was it bad water? Was it TB? And she came in and she said, we got into a fight and I knocked him on the floor and he got up and conked me out. <laughs> so I guess that's how it happened. It must have been not on purpose, just, uh, just in the heat of uh, anger, I think. Too bad, huh? Too bad.